What kind of cheese do comic lovers prefer? Graded. Ha <laughs> ha. Silver Age Key is next. Go go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And if you stayed through my cheesy little joke in the beginning, no pun intended, or maybe there were puns intended, I have a key issue book, one of the last biggest ones that I probably will have for the year. I still have, um, I think, like two or three more books on their way, which are keys, but not as key as this key. So... I want to sh make sure I tell people before you uh, finish this video, if you wait until the end, please show support to our surprise subscriber shout out. All you have to be is a subscriber to get that shout out. And if you would be so kind, even if it's not you or if it's already been you or what have you, if you wait until the end to see who it is, give them a little shout out yourself. Show them the love by uh, placing in the comments section the acknowledgement for who was picked. Because believe it or not, the majority of the people actually request them. So I want to make sure it makes them happy, because then that makes me happy, and we want the whole world to be happy. And considering tomorrow is going to be Christmas, by the way, happy uh, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody, um, I thought I'd share some gifts for myself. This is definitely a book to acquire. It's a very key early age first appearance. This is actually my second copy of this book. And I have to be careful because I just changed the blade on this knife. And it's called a suicide blade by trade because it is basically scalpel sharp. And the last thing I want to do on camera is destroy this comic. I'm sure somebody might appreciate that, but... I didn't buy it to destroy it. That's definitely not my uh, thing. So it also, I want you to see that I say this all the time, that you can get books that you may not think are out there for prices that are fairly decent. Now, obviously, this isn't a dollar comic, but um, this is a very early age appearance. I got one almost a year ago last year, almost to the exact day, give or take a couple of days. And I didn't get as good a deal, especially when the day after I bought this is when they were doing that 15% off sale. So I could have saved an extra 15% off this, but, you know, what are you going to do? The best part is I paid less than what a 0 0.5 for this book would end up costing people. Now, obviously, um, it is a low-grade book, and to me... I say it all the time, and I'll keep saying it. Low grade is better than no grade. So let me show you the book, and then I'll tell you the price. And then you can go on your merry way. Or you can check out more of my videos if you want. I'd always appreciate that. So here is my second copy of Amazing Spider-Man issue number two. Now, as you can see, this book has been loved. It's been read. It was probably stored by somebody who did not love comics as far as storing them is concerned for longevity, but may have saved it for, you know, as a kid, found it in their attic or something like that. But pieces missing here. There's some pieces missing here and here down on the bottom. Staples are intact. So it is obviously I will have to check it, but they did show the inside of the book and they said it is complete. It is attached. Uh, but there are pieces missing here. The inside of the book looks good. It's just the front cover that looks fairly bad. Now, like I said, if you look on eBay in past previously sold comics of this book, the 0.5s sell for $500 and up. Now, I'm not talking about restored books or coverless or anything like that. I'm talking at least a complete book because this is, even though it may not look visually stunning to everybody, I still love it for the fact that it's the first appearance of the Vulture. It is the second issue of Spider-Man. I mean, you know, I love Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, it's got amazing Ditko art. I mean, how can you go wrong? You know, like I said, some people need high grade. I don't care. If I could afford high grade, I'd love to get them. But to me, this kind of gives it nostalgia. I will change the bag and board because that, you know, I don't want to see. But if you look, like I said, on eBay, previously sold, cheapest ones are going for 500 and up. 
Now, I didn't pay 500. I didn't even pay 400 for this book. I would say in this grade, it's about a 1.5 to a 1.8, which I'm perfectly fine with because the main part of the book is intact, so it would look good slabbed. Again, some of the, you know, pieces missing I can live with, whether you can or not. I mean, if you can't, that just means I didn't have to compete with you at bidding because this was about a mid-afternoon to early evening auction, and it wasn't a buy it now, so people were bidding on this. I got it with shipping and handling for $335, and I think that is a really good price for this book. Now, obviously, the Vulture, the main villain from the first Amazing Spider-Man, has already come and gone. How much he'll have in the next movie remains to be seen. Um, there are rumors that there might be a Sinister Six, and you know he's going to be a part of it, so I don't think he's done. But even if that's the case, you know, this is an iconic cover. It's an iconic character. It's one of Spider-Man's first real villains before you see all the others that start coming in, like the Lizard, Electro, even Green Goblin. This was one of the first that most people recognize. And it goes up from there. So I'm very happy with this book. And the good thing is the people that say, oh, I would never get it. That just means I didn't have to spend 400, 500 and up. So I'm happy with people that don't like books that I am willing to take. Because like I've said, low grade is better than no grade. So if, you, if I'm somebody that has to wait for a high grade, well, I may never own this book. Because you're talking in the thousands of dollars. And I just don't want to spend that kind of money. Now, obviously, if I found a high deal, high grade for a good deal, I might consider it. But to me, I'm very happy with having two lower grade issues of this topic. And maybe I'll use one as a trade bait because I will try and get an Amazing Fantasy 15. And I have a lot of duplicates of some pretty big key issue books that maybe combined might persuade somebody that might have an extra Amazing Fantasy 15 to part ways with it. So we'll have to see. But you can't, you know, like they say in the lottery, you got to be in it to win it. So that's it. Hopefully you like the video. Um, just keep looking for prices, you know, wait for specials, even on key books. Even if you could deal with the lower grade, they are out there. Just never give up and everything. And you'll be amazed at how things will find you that you weren't even looking for. Because I never specifically look for a book. But if I see something that I want and I'm able to afford it and it's within my price range, you're darn right I'm going to get it. So thanks for watching. Wait until the end. Give it a thumbs up if you can. Hit subscribe if you haven't been subscribed. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Fly like an eagle or a vulture. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.